Hi guys and welcome back to Mo's Munchie Box. So today we're in a, enjoying a Middle Eastern treat. So we're on Lazard, which is just around the corner from Jamaica Street in Glasgow City Centre. Really small Syrian place. Uh, they do shawarma, they do rotisserie chicken. We've ordered lamb shawarma, chicken shawarma and some of their national authentic bread. So we're just waiting for that to be made and then we'll give it a try and see how it goes. Really looking forward to this because it smells heavenly in here. So hopefully it is a piece of Middle Eastern paradise. Hey guys, so that's our food now arrived. So we've got our lamb shawarma, uh, which was 10.50 for 300 grams. And we've then got a plate of chicken shawarma, which was again 7.50 for 300 grams. So between the two plates there, we've got meat, 600 grams for about 18 pounds. A bit expensive, but it's all down to taste. Uh, we've also then got the traditional bread which seems to be exceptionally massive so, mm, mm. <laughs> didn't expect that to be like so big so that's the samod the traditional bread that you eat it with yeah, so first of all we'll start with the chicken I'll try a bit in the samod and then we'll talk about <coughs> that and then we'll try a bit in the lamb the bread is like it's quite your last key. You, let's just try a bit by itself. So the bread is pretty much just like a tortilla wrap, if I'm honest, so not a lot happening there. Uh, right, so we'll just try a bit of the chicken shawarma. Marinade and that is exceptional. Um, so whilst it's a small piece, I took there the flavour explosion in my mouth as soon as I put that in was really good. The chicken has definitely maintained all of its moisture. Uh, it's nice, it's soft in terms of when you want to put your teeth through it, it goes straight through, it's not chewy, but it's got a nice bounce to it. Um, fresh, you can tell it's very, very fresh because of the moisture in there and the really strong flavour of the chicken. The marinade I can only guess that that's some, whatever they would have in it or on it in Syria. Um, really nice flavours and really nice combination. It definitely works. So I think that's definitely worth it. Is the bread really adding anything to it? I'm not sure. Like I say, it's literally just like a tortilla wrap. Uh, I'll now just quickly try the lamb. So, the lamb's quite dark, which again, insinuates to me it's going to be high quality uh, there looks to be a plenty of marinade on that so again fully expecting when I put this in my mouth to get that flavour explosion which the chicken tried it so let's go for it Really, as expected, really, really, really strong lamb taste and flavour on that. Uh, so it's definitely not something that's been bought in on cheap. Usually with lamb, if it's got not as strong a punchy flavour to it, that means it's lower quality. This very, very strong. Like even when I've swallowed that, there's still that aftertaste of lamb in my mouth, which tends to insinuate quality rather than cheap quantity high. Um, Marination on that again, superb, it really works. There doesn't seem to be as much marination on the lamb as on the chicken, but I think again, purely because lamb's got a more powerful flavour, that works for me. Um, there's obviously vegetables on the plate as well, we'll totally patch those, we don't do vegetables on this channel. But, or do you know what, let's just try... I think that's even a picking pickle, we'll patch the pickle, uh, tomato, just to make sure it's fresh. So, the tomato works, it is totally fresh, uh, nice fresh juicy, so yeah, totally commend that. In terms of quality of the food, the chicken shawarma had score a solid 9 out of 10, because it is really, really good. The lamb, again, solid 9 out of 10, uh, fresh, well marinated, nice. 
price wise, I would say it's price is probably more expensive than places like Shawarma King. So maybe an eight out of ten for that. Location ten out of ten because it's right in city centre, minutes away from Central Station. So overall, I would give it Lazard a nine out of ten, which I think is really impressive and fair on these guys. Um, so that's the end of this review. If you have enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of our previous reviews. We've done a few different shawarma places. Um, like the videos and drop us a comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.